<laughs> Welcome yes. back to Sister Circle Live. We're back with dynamic minister, author, and beautiful actress Priscilla Shire. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for all the ladies to get into the conversation. Yes. And we're just going to throw it on to Miss Rashawn yes. to take yes. the floor. Well, Miss Priscilla, <laughs> you have accomplished so many things. And then there was a point in your life you were like, this is my passion. This is my purpose. Yes. How did you bring those two together to know that you're truly walking in your light? Well, you know what? It occurred to me that all of the things that the way the Lord wired me and all of my uniqueness, both in our physicality and our personality, even the weaknesses yeah. mm -hmm. are intentionally used by God to be platforms for his glory. Mm -hmm. So I figured if he That's wired good. me with certain passions and certain interests, even if to other people those things are are innocuous or things that aren't important, if he wired me that way, that means I'm supposed to be using them yeah. in some level or in some capacity. Mm -hmm for his glory. Mm. And so it occurred to me that all of those passions, all of those interests that I needed to make sure that they were woven into the fabric of whatever mm. I was doing in life. Yes. Because he wired me that way on purpose. Yes. Oh, right. yes. Yes. I love it. I love Man, it. Man, that's good. And you know, you have a new movie coming out. I do. Called The Overcomer. But before <laughs> yes. we get into it, let's just take a look at it. Okay. Oh. I'm down three coaches, but I do think I have a solution for cross country. No. I don't even like running. Don't die. Don't die. Cross country's not even a real sport. Uh, why would anyone want to do this? I'm just impressed that you finished. You are my best option. Y'all here for tryouts? No, sir. We're just hanging out. Hey, are you here for cross country? Yes, sir. I had one girl show up, and she's got asthma. Oh, you mean Hannah Scott. Do you enjoy running? It's really the only thing I'm good at. Why well, have a season with one runner? One runner matters. Me. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 That's a whole problem. Right. Girl, listen, listen. So did the kids drop from the team because she was a part of it? No, no, no. Okay. So that, that clip was a little runner. short. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. She's the only person bit. that tried out for the team. Oh, so the whole so movie really is a story about identity. Mm. It's about a coach who has planted his significance. It's been in this job, and now this job mm -hmm. is gone. Mm -hmm. He was the basketball coach. Now that job is gone, and he finds himself decimated because he's lost what his significance was rooted right, in. Right. And then you've got this young girl, and she's got her own story of identity. She doesn't know who her parents are. She mm -hmm. thinks that they've, she's been told that they are dead. Mm. And so here she is abandoned and feeling <gasps> alone. And so it's a, it's a coming of age story in terms of identity in the mm. lives of two different people, wow. really three different people once the story gets going. Yeah. And that's what the whole movie is about. It's about where your significant li significance lies. Because if it's rooted in temporal stuff that can be taken away, oh, oh, no. you for real gonna be in trouble. Oh, you know, it has to be rooted in something solid. Mm -hmm. And so as Christians, we find our identity in who our God says that we are. Okay. Nobody can take that away. And then I that. God. See, that was a message. Mm -hmm. I'm like, because people put so much value on things and stuff, yeah. like literally, mm -hmm. yeah. from clothing to cars to homes, all that. But it's all about what's within. Yes. So I, I love that Especially you said that. Especially in the age of, of social media that oh, we live oh, in. Yeah. Yeah. Because we Don't are so drawn to whether or not I've received the applause of people, how yes. many likes I got, you know, business. but whether people approve mm -hmm. of us or not, whether they applaud or not, right. whether we're celebrated or not, mm -hmm. has to be irrelevant to whether mm -hmm. or not we know mm -hmm. we're significant mm -hmm. and valuable. Yes. Yes. I say that's good. Speaking of movies, mm -hmm. uh, and I, we spoke mm -hmm. about this briefly in the break, War Room. <laughs> First of all, um, I love that movie. Probably one of my favorite spiritual movies ever. Um, but it changed my life and perspective of prayer. You know, we can pray anywhere. That, yeah, this is true. We totally. can pray at this table if we wanted to right now. But hey, don't tempt me. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> see, no, see the perspective of, of praying in a place um, and, and, and battling, you know, with the word of God yeah. really changed the game for me. Do you think that the church has a misstep, well, they're, they're experiencing a misstep when it comes to prayer and how to effectively pray to make change. Mm. Well, I do think that we have uh, let prayer kind of slip down the totem pole of priorities. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said, my house should be called a house not of good preaching and not of great singing and not of great fog ah. lights and smoke machines and you know all that. Mm. Enjoy all that. Yes. But in the end, my house better be called a house of prayer. Mm -hmm. It's the first thing on the totem pole of priorities within the house of God and in the lives of the people of God. So I think what War Room did was remind us of how we need to prioritize not only the fact that we're praying, but how we pray. Is it focused mm -hmm. and intentional? Are yes. you watching to see where the enemy is coming against your marriage right. and your kids and yes. your finances and Specifics. your health? Wherever you 
you see his fingerprints, well then go ahead and find promises from God's word mm -hmm. that speak apply to that. to that. That's exactly that's right. right. And right. speak exactly to that and be intentional in prayer. Yeah. When I yeah. tell you I have 1,000 pieces of paper at home <laughs> <laughs> with specific prayer Girl, going down yes. to, the, to the problems yes. in my life. Yes, yes. Yes. And you know what I think War Room did too, I'll just, I'll just add, is I felt so grateful to those writers and directors because really historically faith-based films for the faith-based community, they haven't been something we've been real proud of. Right, like 10 right. years ago, we wouldn't really want to go take our friends to mm -hmm, a faith-based mm -hmm. movie because they were a little bit raggedy. Mm -hmm. But they had excellence, technical excellence mm -hmm. in the, this film, unapologetic gospel stories. Yes. Right. And then they presented us, people of color, in a way that yes. was respectable and dignified. Yes. We mm -hmm. saw ourselves yes. in that. So it drew us in to this faith-based film in a way that what we've, we've never been drawn mm -hmm. in before Absolutely. to those kinds of movies. What, what has been one promise of God that has carried you through your life? Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, um, my life verse is Galatians 5.1. Since I was in college, God gave me that verse. It says that it is for freedom that Christ has set you free. Therefore, stand firm and don't be subject again to a yoke of slavery. Oh, cool. That promise carries me that the reason why he died on the cross of Calvary is not just to give me a ticket to eternity. Mm -hmm. It's so I can live in freedom and fullness and victory right now. now. Yes, uh, right now. So people I don't, miss that. That's they right. Do. They do. So you don't have to wait to get to heaven to experience heaven. You get little bits of it right now because the Holy Spirit lives in you mm -hmm. to walk with you, to talk with you, and to make sure that you don't have any chains binding you and causing you to experience less than God. Ooh best for your life. Well, with that said, Miss Priscilla, you have said a word. Oh <laughs> Down to the circle. Yeah. Thank you so much for I joining us yeah. today. I've been celebrating y'all, by the yes. way. Yes. Thank you. Thank what you. you're doing here at this table. Thank this you great. so much. Oh, great. my goodness. So if you're in need of a good word, you heard one, and some good oh, music, so that's right. The Fervent Tour 2.0 is where it's all at, okay? <laughs> you can visit ferventtheevent.com to find out when it comes to your city. And be on the lookout for Priscilla's new movie, Overcome on August 23rd. Give it up yes. for Priscilla Shire. Yeah.